I think what's happening is in the world today we lead a very fast paced life. And when you lead a very fast paced life simply catering to the daily demands, requirements and daily priorities, it becomes very difficult to even figure out if life needs a balance. Exactly. We have this disease called the no time disease. So busy and add social media to it. Absolutely. You already have so much and then you add social media. There's no time. Right? If you don't have time to spend with your family, where are you going to have time to spend with your own self? And if we don't have time to spend with our own self, where is the question of looking at what needs attention? Okay. You know? So I feel step one is slow down. Not in terms of achieving, not in terms of work, okay. but in terms of life. I think there's a need to slow down a little bit because we are not human doings we are human beings. Right. Doing is a very important aspect of our life but being is equally or more important to empower our doing. If we don't enter into the space of being our doing is a mad rush. See. We need to feel empowered to deal with that rush. So we're not just human doings we are human beings and when we learn to slow down we enter into the space of being and in that space of being in that space of silence we are able to listen to our own voice the problem is the noise outside is drowning us the noise of immediate emergencies the noise of taxes to pay the noise of competition around the noise of public opinion the noise of social media it is drowning us and we just not able to be in sync with our own voice so when we slow down a little bit and enter into that space of being in that space of silence just to be able to spend some time with our own selves we are able to slowly tune into our own voice listen to our own voice so if it's slowing down slowing down brings us to the next step which is introspection it is in that space of being that we introspect what is it that needs attention if i need to balance these wheels if i need to align these wheels what is it that needs attention you know often they just go unrecognized sometimes people are burning the candle at both ends just more often than not more often than not you know they don't even know that they themselves need attention in trying to cater to the needs of the family and cater to work goodness this neglecting our own selves self care is gone back you know gone way back and how can you pour out of an empty jug how do you put us one pour out of an empty jug to be able to pour out your jug has to be full if you have to put the oxygen mask on somebody else you have to have your own mask in place first you know so in that introspection we start to find out what is it that needs attention is it me is it my family is it my work and balance is a very dynamic principle post that once you are aware of what needs attention is then those micro steps to act on them right like uh, i i think it's a japanese proverb if i'm not wrong it says uh, vision without action is a daydream and action without vision is a nightmare so i would say slow down a little bit introspect listen to your voice and find out those little actionable steps that could be applied to say okay this is the area that needs attention i'll do that it may mean a other few others be compromised we don't have a choice and let's not live in the world of guilt please